Hey everybody on social media. Today we're going to look at the Elation uh, EW DMX T. Uh, it's a wireless transmitter and it's this guy right here. And as I saw in a previous clip there, which I'll go ahead and post it up right there above me. But anyway, um, it is actually um, a great unit. Um, it's um, the technology is actually from Sweden. Uh, this is not your typical um, um, Chinese um, import stuff. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I was, I was talking to Elation. They were saying, well, the reason why it's so expensive because it's, it's technology from Sweden and it's a really high end wireless DMX uh, transmitter and receiver. Um, the receiver, I believe, sells for around like 600 bucks, and the transmitter sells for 600 bucks. So, $1,200 for a transmitter and receiver combined. And the the thing with these units is um, they have a very long range. I believe it's uh, up to 500 yards or something crazy like that. But um, anyway. Um, I'm just messing around with it today. Um, it is communicating wireless with my Elation Platinum Spot 5R Pro moving heads. And um, the moving heads actually have a wireless uh, transmitter already built in. And that's one thing that I liked a whole lot with those uh, moving heads, is that the fact that they have wireless DMX. So we're going to talk about, you know, this feature, this, this light. Um, I got the uh, den all torn up right now, so that way I can play with these. Um, I'm going to show you the light uh, with no DMX connections hooked up to it. And I'll show you the display where it says wireless received. Basically, as soon as I plugged it in, hit function on the, uh, on the uh, transmitter, it started communicating to those lights immediately. So there, there really wasn't um, much of any type of uh, programming that I had to do. I mean, I don't, there was nothing. I mean, except for hitting a button and it connected. And it's pretty much similar to the uh, Y Flex uh, to American DJ, which will not work these lights at all. So um, the the Y Flex and and, and this uh, relation unit are two different um, animals. They're both are great. Um, the Y Flex. Um, is it's got a smaller range I believe it's up to 300 feet and this is 500 feet now that I, now I remember um, I will look at the specs and and post a little yeah you know, you'll see a comment here or something like that a, a text on the screen that show you the true range on it but uh, they both are uh, 2.4 gigahertz but anyway back to the elation um, it is uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, power consumption is three watts, so it's not not too bad. Very low power consumption. So let's go check it out. All right, guys. Here is the EWDMX transmitter. T for transmit. Um, these units sell for around six hundred a piece. Uh, you can probably contact your local dealer, see what kind of deal they can give you. But anyway, here's the unit right here. Um, it is the violation. And, and the Elation transmitter and the receiver, they work only with Elation products uh, that are wireless DMX. Now, you can actually have this transmitter um, purchase a receiver that looks just like it um, and hook it up to a, a different brand of a light fixture. And that'll work. Now, you can come out of the uh, controller, which is coming out of the back of here. Got a lot of going on over here. Got two universes down here. But um, we got four output out of universe one coming from a splitter, okay? So you, typically, if you weren't coming out of the splitter, you would come out of your, directly out of your USB interface, um, straight in to the input DMX uh, into the uh, transmitter. So the transmitter has the input. You have a five pin input as well as a three pin input, which is hooked up right now. You got a USB and then you also have another uh, data connection as well. This is the power cable here. 
That's the uh, transformer for the power cable. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the moving heads and show how that works. Um, status is green, which means we are connected. Uh, and I just hit this function key and basically it'll, it'll blink like that and look for the lights. And then and it, once it stays green, it means it's connected. Um, it was pretty much plug and play with this unit is what I liked a lot about it. All right, we're coming to the moving heads. Yeah, take a look there. We have, it says, uh, wireless, the wireless indicator right here. Where I'm pointing at is green, which means it's receiving wireless. And it even says we're receiving wireless uh, DMX from that transmitter. And the antenna on this unit is actually right here. It does fold in. They, uh, you fold it out basically so that way you know you're, getting a, you're going to get good reception. And again, we're not using any wires for the DMX. The only wire you see here is a power con, which is the power connection, power cable. Um, plug straight into this light fixture. And we're going to have this uh, transmitter transmitting signal to all four of these lights. All right, guys, uh, lights, all four of them are moving. Um, sorry, I'm not turning the bulb on right now. There's no point to turn it on right now because um, it's broad daylight. But anyway, um, we'll show you more future videos of these lights in action with some of the gig locks coming up. I do have some of these, uh, some gig logs already up with these lights. So you yeah, subscribe to my channel, you'll see these lights in action. But they are receiving a wireless uh, DMX uh, signal from that lovely transmitter right there. Sorry about my uh, messy uh, den here. And again, you can see the light moving. And we're not running any DMX cables right here. I actually took them out. So the only thing we run in DMX are, are the park hands and stuff like that. That it's on um, hardwire with uh, DMX cables. So, yep. All right, to give you an idea, uh, it fits in the palm of my hand. Just like that. And some people want to know if you can mount it on a truss, and you can. Here is the bracket that it comes with. And let me show you how that attaches to it. And also get a, uh, a safety cable as well. Basically, I have it flipped upside down. You uh, basically uh, put the bracket on these holes right there. And you basically screw it until it gets tight. And that's about it. You might have to put the, the clamp on first before you put the bracket, attach the bracket. So let's go grab an American DJ clamp. All right, we already attached the clamp. We've got to put the clamp on first. So uh, to the bracket for the wireless transmitter or receiver that you have before you attach it to the unit. like that. All right, we got the screws in there. And there we go. Voila. Beautiful. All right, there we go. We got it attached to a light stand here. That way you get an idea of what it looks like. Got the American DJ clamp. This is this particular clamp is one one point five inches. Now you can take these little plastic pieces and make it two inches. I do have some um, global trust clamps. But all that stuff is put away right now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Not too hard to understand what it looks like. And you have the antenna. I pointed it straight down. Kind of looks cool that way. Or you can go like that, but I'll just go straight down just like that. It's not gonna hurt anything. Got the safety cable ran through the loop there. Uh, so if you're gonna have it for a permanent install, you might wanna use that just for insurance purposes. 
if you get an audit or something because there is people around here that do audits on clubs and churches and and people who's rigging anything above uh, people's head. I do appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, I will be doing some more gig logs coming up. Uh, we're gonna have a busy wedding and prom season this year, uh, 2013. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Facebook. I'm gonna post the links below if you uh, want to check out my website at stewardsproductions.com. And I do appreciate y'all watching, guys, and ladies, gals, and guys. Y'all practice enjoy, and God bless y'all. Peace.